Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and I'm so glad you're back. We are going through our 37 pound shopgoodwill.com box of jewelry. This is episode number four. We just opened our metallic bag of jewelry, so it's going to take a little bit to get through all of these chains and all these things. So, appreciate you being here, and I would love it if you'd subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up because that really does support my channel. And if you like the channel and you'd like to see me continue, then just give me some support. Thank you. Here is how you would purchase. You would email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And I know this is a bit primitive, but I'm just not high tech girl right now. I'm not really up on it, but I'm learning every day. So please email me at that address. And please give me these four bits of information. The video name with the episode number. So you'd say 37 pound episode four. And then you give me the timestamps where the pieces that you like were shown. A brief description of each piece that you want. And it does help if you use a little bit of the description that I use in the video. It just helps to jog my memory and find the piece. And the price is given. So thank you so much for doing this. This really helps me. Now, I do want to say that I have been watching some other jewelry videos lately, and there really are a lot of different ways that YouTubers go about having you purchase their jewelry. And there's a lot of different methods. So I do understand it's hard for you guys to learn each person's, you know, do they want you to put something in the comments? Do they want you to email them? I didn't realize how many different ways there really are. I did find this one YouTuber that does want people to leave in the comments what they want. And I thought, wow, that's really different than the way I do it. But there are different ways. So I understand that you guys don't always have it easy trying to figure out what each of us wants you to do. This is a stretch bracelet. Oh, sorry. And it's on a magnet. And it's got some sparklies they're deep purple purplish red and i feel like these are stretchy too so it's a silver tone stretchy magnetic bracelet very simple to put on take off and we'll do a dollar on that we are breaking the ice folks this is a gold tone textured beaded just a bangle and i have started a pile over here of a bunch of jewelry that's you know not not awful but not terrific and maybe I'll do a bag of jewelry because our craft jars are just too small to put some things in now we're gonna do a craft jar on this one as well I'm just wondering why do I have that name on it when we already did one of those okay anyway we'll do a craft jar this looks like a sliced agate. It's pretty blue color. Maybe they dyed it. And it's got silver tone around the outside. I'm not seeing any mark on the bale. And maybe it came off a chain in this bag of jewelry. By the way, I should give you a peek of what I'm going through. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? So that's why we have episode numbers because, wow, it can get really busy really busy so i like to put that out of the picture because it does um, mess up the focus of the camera back to the agate it doesn't have a chain yet um, these both are marked um, lucky brand so they're hammered gold tone lucky brand bracelets and so far i found two of them there may be more in the bag but i will just say four dollars on the two lucky brand gold tone right now they're in good shape. Those back there. We'll put this aside for now to figure out what we're doing with that. Maybe a chain will show up. So I did want to mention that, remind you all, some of you know this, that I'm not a jewelry expert. All I can do is offer you my opinion. And I use my different tools to test stones and they're very good tools. But just keep in mind, I'm not a jewelry expert. And, um, yeah, just want to remind you that. And that if you really need an expert opinion, you should take the jewelry to a jewelry expert. 
I don't know why I thought of that lately. I just thought, wow, I should just mention that just in case, you know. Um, I have been really surprised that people have said, oh, I'm learning a lot from you. And I just, I have so much to learn that I find that hard to believe. But, you know, I do think about when I started in jewelry maybe a year or two ago. And I guess I have learned a couple things, so I'm happy to share them. But my point is, I just want you to remember I'm no expert. But I'm very excited you guys are learning. So I'm just cleaning this off a little bit. Some stuff in here is a little bit dusty, so I've had to do a little bit of wipey. This is um, gold tone. It looks like maybe they put an extension on it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time figuring it out because it looks like it should just go in craft. It just has too much wear. So we're going to put that in our big craft pile. Okay, this is pretty. But it's in need of some cleaning too. Oh, these torque necklaces, they always do it. Here, I'll show you. Everything hooks on this. And it takes us a while to get them undone. It's a pretty piece, but it needs clean for sure. I'm not going to take the time to do it on the camera. Um, is it worth cleaning or should I just craft it? It's so pretty. I guess if someone spends a little time cleaning it up, they would have a beautiful necklace. But sometimes I have to just not do everything because I can't do everything. We have a little gold tone chain with a vintage spring ring clasp. It's got a cute um, design to it. I don't know all the chain names, but isn't that dainty and sweet? It does have sort of a very bright gold tone, so I'm not expecting to find a mark, but it's always good to check. So we have a vintage chain. I'll put it aside, see if there's something we can put on there. And what else can I tell you about? Um, the guy that bought all the guy or girl, I don't know what they were, that bought the three jewelry jars for me on eBay. And then, you know, jewelry jars that are packed with wearable jewelry that I've probably sold a hundred of them, at least. People have been thrilled with them and happy. But this person ordered three. I told you about it on a couple of videos ago. And just wanted to let you know that I appealed the case and eBay ap approved my appeal. So that was good. I didn't lose all that money. They haven't taken the bad feedback off yet, which is really strange. Because when you win the appeal, they're supposed to take the bad feedback off. Which I think has really hurt my sales over there. But they haven't, so I'll have to call them tomorrow. This is signed... I keep forgetting to look in the camera to see if I'm focused or I hope I'm not doing a bad thing. It looks like Premier Designs. It's, it's a pretty necklace, but I think I'm going to put it in our craft bag because I just want to get to the better pieces. Nothing wrong with it. Probably a great necklace, but I have a lot of jewelry to get through. Isn't that gorge? with the Mickey Mouse on it. Oh, it's so pretty, like a pave stone heart. And then, oopsie, what did I do to myself? And then Mickey, I think, has another little crystal on his ear, does he? It does. That's so sweet. So is this a Disney? I mean, I don't see anything on the lobster clasp and the cording is like brand new it's got it looks like a ring here but it's just the necklace design some large silver tone rings with more rhinestones and a pave heart with a mickey on it come on phone always at this time of night like around five ish when the sun starts to go down a little bit the camera gets confused so i apologize why don't we say on this necklace, I'll show you the back. 
we'll do seven dollars on the Mickey Pave heart with the cord. It's in great shape. Really good. The cord is like new. Okay, what else can I show you? Oh, that's pretty. I think I had one of these before. It's roses. Um, I forgot what they're made of. They are metal. Maybe they're just painted with enamel paint in a soft color. I can't remember if the last one I had was signed, but let's see what this says. DM Copyright 97. That's pretty. Nice brooch with roses. Mother's Day coming up, I would say $10 on the brooch. That's right, Mother's Day is coming up. So, wow, that might be a good time to sell jewelry. Wow, look at this. Oh, whoa, that is so like wedding material or prom night. It's really done well. Really beautiful. I love how there's bigger stones and then tiny ones in the middle right next to the huge ones. Okay, wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. I put it on the styrofoam board, waiting for the other one to turn up. So just for those of you who are new and don't know what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, look at this, guys. This is gold and silver tone. It's got stones inside. It's beautiful, and it's got a mark on it. Let me see. I'm going to have to zoom in a little because of this time of night. All right, now it's my turn to look. Stainless steel, that's what I thought. I wanted to say it, but I didn't. So there are a lot of men who wear and women stainless steel jewelry and it's gorgeous it really looks every bit gold and silver let me just give you a full view of that it's beautiful and look at the cubic zirconias in there i bet you they are because they are really sparkling oh yes they go on a very high glass so cubic zirconia stainless steel bracelet with a gold tone X design on top of the silver. And then the cubic zirconias are in there. And this is the back. Gorgeous, huh? So beautiful. Let me measure it. I don't get many men or chunky type bracelets like this. So I don't know. It's a good 8 inches. Maybe a little bit more than 8 inches. And I'm going to say, I mean, it's a nice bracelet. I'm going to say 17 on this. Make sure the class works. Yes. 17. It's beautiful. All the cubic zirconias are there. And it's a beauty. Ooh, what's this? I love those colors. They look like little tiny pieces of turquoise. And what have we got for a tag? It's a little bit twisted around here. It looks like a an older tag, something from older times. You know what? In my last video, we have a necklace like this, but it's in um, like a faux, a faux coral color. It's exactly this. And now we have a faux turquoise one. This is beautiful. I love the other one, and I love this one. And I put the other one in my thumbnail just like I said I would but this one has $42 wow and then mark down to 30 oop I'm so nosy I gotta know who this is so I hope I don't wreck my fingernails but let's see if we can tell if you go really easy I might have to do this off camera but oh I think it says Catherine Stein Okay, so I can't go back in time and reprice the one in the first video, but I can pull this one aside and put it in my, give it a little bit of research for Catherine Stein. Now we know who made that first one. That's why I loved it. It was such good quality. Okay, so I will put that aside and, and keep you updated on that one. And this little cutie cutie popped out. Gorgeous 
turquoise or more like um a teal i always have a hard time remembering that word teal teal colored stone it's going to go wait for its mate this one oh okay so we have two of these now because this one found its mate so we have silver tone earrings it's like a carved rose on the top but i don't know anything about it being sterling let me find my hitchhiker dude yeah, they're not magneting. I might just have to take a closer look. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Closer look at you. This is a super shiny bracelet. Looks like it has a name inside. Oh, it's a napier maybe? But look at the purple enamel. Gorgeous. Isn't that a beauty? Should be able to just zoom in here and yeah, I'll look at that color. And maybe I can show you the name. Where'd it go? Where did you go? Over here. So you, again, you'll be able to see it before I can because when I'm making the video, I'm looking through a phone camera, which isn't easy to see. It is a Napier. No. Napier, I'm sorry. It says copyright at the end, so I'm like, no, that's a G. Beautiful Napier bracelet. Wow. With this, like, little button that you push. That's gorgeous. I'm going to have to see what to do about that. I'll try to give prices on as many things as I can, but sometimes I have to say, hold on a minute. Now, this one is pretty cool, but it needs some cleaning, so... I don't want to mess with that for now. Okay, what else do we have here? This is a vintage necklace. Let's back out a little bit. There we go. Nice and slowly. By the way, I watched some other videos and they went like zoomed in and zoomed out and zoomed in and zoomed out because I don't think we really realize it. But when you guys told me the last time I was zooming in and out so fast, I try to go slowly now. This is a major, beautiful vintage necklace. It's in great condition. It has a shiny tone and then a textured gold tone chain, and there's five of them. And it's on this gorgeous shepherd's hook. Hitchhiker. Shepherd's hook clasp. Um, hmm. Who is that, Kay? I don't know. Another one I might have to take a little look at. Beautiful, isn't that, on the back? That is heavyweight, and it's got a K on it, so I'll have to do a Google search on that pretty baby. Now, what's this guy? Gold tone with the lobster clasp. It It's already had its heyday. It was a beautiful necklace, but it's got some wear. It does have, like, a faux pearl there. And, yeah, it's pretty, but I'm going to put it in our our craft jar. So, that means I need to make a craft jar. I'm just not sure why I have the name Sue on that craft jar right there. I thought we already did Sue. I don't know. I just don't want to have two of them. <clears throat> Sorry. So, to be safe, what should we name this one? <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I need to take a drink of water. Um, Let's see. We've done Betty. We've done Linda. We've done... Hi, Betty. Hi, Linda. We've done Amanda. Hi, Amanda. I feel like Captain Kangaroo. Like, hi, David. Hi, Missy. Hi, Sherry. By the way, Captain Kangaroo never said my name. Just so you know, I have like a... A little thing to get over with that. I am just kidding. I'm totally kidding. What are we going to name the craft jar, guys? we got to give it a name. Hmm. How about... I like to put names of our viewers. I'm trying to think. There's so many names going through my head. Oh, I don't know. Let's do Carol. we can't spend 10 minutes with Sherry trying to figure out the name of the craft jar. Okay, this is the Carol craft jar. It's been so great to name them because 
It's fun and it's so easy to find the craft jar that people are asking for. That's our first deposit in the craft jar. Second, I have this gorgeous brooch. I'm so sad that it doesn't have the this bar there. It is marked. It is an Emmons, but I'm gonna put it in there. It's a beautiful, beautiful pin without the pin. And I'm still putting these bracelets in. Art glass, see that pink art glass and some Pretty sure these are full pearls, but they're pretty ones. So that goes in our craft jar. And sadly, we had something happen here. This beautiful bracelet. I think, I don't know what stone this is, but it's gorgeous. It does look like turquoise, doesn't it? Nonetheless, it broke. Got some beautiful beads on there. That's not wood, that's ceramic. These are wood. So I'm just gonna put all those in there. It's gonna be a little bit noisy for a minute. So this is going in the carol. And this very lovely gold tone chain. I think it just needs a clasp or something. Yeah, the clasp is broken. That goes in. This is so fun. I love to build these. And I love to save all my best things to put in here for you guys. These are nice crystal beads or pink color with a silver or silver tone. But the stretch is not good. I'm always putting things aside saying, ooh, I'm going to save that for my people. So I love it. This is also needs um, a new stretch. So that can go in the craft jar. Our... Carol craft jar. You can hear me pulling things out of the other one. This I think is just a clip on. So if someone wants to mess around with that, make a pendant. You've already got a way to clip it on the chain. You, you guys know what you're doing. I don't need to tell you that, but this I think is sodalite. Nice string of sodalite beads. And this last one I think is glass. And that would make a nice whatever you're going to make out of it. But hope you enjoy that. And this beautiful baby. Okay, we've got this gorgeous abalone shell. But the necklace, New York and Company. I don't think it's broken. I think the beads just slide down. And it just, I don't know. It's nice looking. I just think... It could go to the craft jar and someone could enjoy it or you can wear it. You can always wear some of these too. It's totally your thing. It's up to you. Okay, I want to get back to the unbagging, unboxing of the jewelry. So I'll put this last art glass stretch bracelet in. Gorgeous foiled art glass. And we'll come back to that in a little bit. Can't forget that is the carol jar. Okay. All right. So what else do we have here? I was saying on my last video that I had to take a little break from making the videos because I want to make sure I can process your orders when you do order things. And I had a super busy week. I had to do some things for my wonderful kid. And... I have three sons, they're all grown, but my last son that's still living with me is the one I'm talking about. And yes, I had a couple of appointments and just some things I had to get done. So I did my vintage haul video this week and showed you that. It was really hard to not open this other bag of jewelry this week, but I didn't want to have orders I couldn't process. Okay, this is so cute, but this just needs to be finagled around. There it is. And I already found an earring for this. So it's going to have, I hope, a pair of earrings to match. That is so cute. I love that. Those gold tone sort of oval shapes. Oh, this is so cute. Let's see if there's any maker. No. 
Nope, no Maker Mark on it. But I love that color. And I love the adorableness. Come on. Come on, we don't have all night. I just want to do this so it doesn't doesn't um, keep catching on things. All right, take a deep breath, Sherry, because not everyone is going to scream at you because you took three minutes to clasp a necklace. Okay, deep breath. Oh, that's beautiful. And the way these two beads come together makes it look like butterflies, doesn't it? So I don't want to price this yet because we found one of the earrings in the last video. I'm sure it's vintage because look at the back of it. It's pierced, but it has that old clamper thing on it. Adorable. Hope we find the other earring. It's a cute set. Okay, what do we have here? This is a lot of rhinestones. If I can get it out. Why don't we get rid of the torque thing? Because, not get rid of it, but figure it out and take it out of the mix. Because it always catches everything. So it just looks like a silver tone torque. It's in great shape. And I'm going to put it aside, maybe put it in our bulk, our bulk um, craft jar. Yeah, our bulk craft bag, sorry. There's a lot of words to remember and think of in this. This is a vintage gold tone snowflake necklace. And nothing wrong with it, it's in great shape. But there's no signature, and I think it's a great thing to put in our carol craft jar so in it goes sometimes i just gotta keep a moving on what are you this is a really heavy very i've never seen anything like this look at the metal it's different I mean, i'm sure it needs to be fixed oh maybe it's like um pewter that might be what this is, a pewter bracelet. My microphone has like a, a Velcro thing, and every time I go to bring my wipe up to, my, to the video or to my jewelry, it gets stuck on the Velcro. So I'm over here fighting with it. Okay, I think this is a pewter bracelet. It's got a beautiful glass something going on, or maybe acrylic ask Miss Percy. She's been on a long time. I should really turn her off. It's getting she's getting hot. That is glass. I don't know. What do you think? It's very interesting. I guess I'll just say five dollars on this because I don't know if it's pewter or what it is. It does really look pewter to me and it doesn't magnet and I'm not seeing any marks anywhere. Okay. Next is, I'm trying to get to this very rhinestone necklace. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, it's marked. It's got a hang tag that says, boy, it's having a hard time. Come on, my baby. Liz Claiborne, I think. Yes, Liz Claiborne. Wow, look at this. It's like a it, the camera doesn't even know how to focus with so many sparkles. It's like a green peridot color, all rhinestones. Super long. That's beautiful. What a gorgeous look that would be. Just wear all that shimmery stuff around your neck. This is so long. Okay, I'm going to try to get a measurement. And not much space here. <clears throat> It does have a lobster clasp, by the way, just so I don't skip over that. <clears throat> and it is 20, I'm sorry, 40, 41 inches long, because I have to double it, because, yeah. 41 inches, green peridot, rhinestone necklace from Liz Claiborne. That's beautiful. I'm going to say... $12 on that. Designer and in great condition. And what's this? This is so different. The jewelry is so different. I love that. It's difficult because it's not all signed all the time. And 
<clears throat> it's not so easy for me to call what the thing is or what the, you know, what the value is because the jewelry is so different from each other, but it's also kind of fun too, isn't it? Okay, we've got a little bit of tangles going on, so I'm going to start undoing these clasps because that's always the first thing that helps. Undo this one. Okay. That helps too so that the pendants, if it has one, don't fall off. Let me see. I'm curious as to what this says because it has a little mark on it. There we go. Wow, I may have to just shut my door that's letting the sun in because it's really messing with the lights. Oh, it says Ann Taylor. Okay, so whatever that chain has at the end of it, it's an Ann Taylor. Hmm. Am I going to be able to get it out easily enough? Yes. Okay, oh, it's a super long, oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. It's all seed beads. It's a tassel. And they're a beautiful, brilliant blue, but they're the tiniest seed beads I've ever seen. And it has this fantastic gray midnight blue um, rhinestone on it. That is so beautiful. And a very long chain. In wonderful condition. So this is how long the chain is. Let me see if I can give you an idea of how long. Oh, I gotta get a wipey. So it's quite long. I'll measure it for you. But the seed beads are beautiful. I've never seen them that tiny. Trying to get my hands cleaned. I can't deal with it when they get all yucky. With the metallic jewelry, it just it's just what happens. Can't really help it. So I got that. And now I can measure the chain. And what did we say this was? An Anne already forgot. <laughs> I forgot already. Ann Taylor. Nice long Ann Taylor. Super dainty chain, gorgeous tassel. This is a beautiful vintage item, you know, vintage 80s, maybe even back a little more. And I think long chains are in again, if I'm right about that. It's 30 inches, and I can't get over how pretty that tassel is and how bright blue. So I'm going to say... Oops, I knocked you guys around. I'll say $10 on the Ann Taylor. It's a nice piece. The chain does have a little bit of wear, but it's not bad at all, just so you know. Okay, what did we have going on here? And I'm so sad because my new little white linen thing I bought is getting dirty, but that's part of what happens. Okay, this is a gold tone. I love the glass in there, or whatever it is. It's getting harder to tell by my hands if it's glass or acrylic, because the weather is warmer. Whereas in the winter, I mean, I would know right away if that was glass. So, Good thing we have Miss Prissy. And I don't think this is glass, although it really looks like it. Okay, acrylic, but before I spend too much time, I think this has some wear because the rest of it is gold tone, but this one is worn off. Don't know why. So maybe we're just going to have to put this in our craft bag because it's too big for the jar. Okay, craft bag. Well, now we have craft jars going, we have wearable jewelry jars going, and we have craft bags, so... At least we're finding a home for the jewelry in every sense of the word. This is so pretty. It's got like um, like faux turquoise or glass turquoise color bead. But the stretch is bad. But it's an older one. Isn't it beautiful? 
Okay, you're gonna go in our jewelry jar. There's not much room left there. But hey, that means it's getting full. Okay, jewelry jar. Carol, by the way, in case you need to tell me, I want the jewelry jar, the craft jewelry jar. Here's that other earring, super cool brass, but it needs cleaned. So I'll have to come back with that one. All right, what have we got here? Oh, that's a pretty cat's eye kind of earring. Cat's eye effect glass. And I see another one here, unless it's the necklace that matches. Yes, it is the necklace, but it's kind of tangled. And there's a bunch of little earrings in here too. Okay, which one are you? This one or this one? This one. Oh, that's cute. That's a little cat's eye effect too. And that's cool. It's got a long string of um, rhinestones in it with chain. My gosh, I'm not even in the camera. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's hard to do 20 things at once sometimes. Okay. Um, this is kind of cool. Maybe it's a watch band or just a bracelet that buckles. Has a little bit of wear or maybe needs to be cleaned. Yeah, I think it just needs to be cleaned. It's pretty. I think I'm going to put it in our craft bag and we'll get to that in a minute. All right, let's try to get this cat's eye effect glass necklace. Wow, it's in excellent condition, silver tone. It has like a dot dash chain and then a nice tight sort of foxtail chain. So a double chain. It's almost like a, I don't want to call it a choker. Let's just measure it and see, even though I haven't found that other earring yet. Um, all right, we'll measure it. It measures, if that was linked right there, be 15 inches. And then you have a good three, maybe four inch. I hope you're not hearing my stomach growl. A good four inch extender. I'll let you know about the other earring. Um, wow, that looks like a nice silver plating on there. Very nice. I'm going to say $8 on the necklace, and I'll let you know if I find, or when I find, the other earring, okay? Because I think we're going to find it. And we'll put you over there. So you're going to wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you got to wait for your mate. You want to see how the wait for your mate board is going? Here it is. Styrofoam board with the earrings on it that are waiting for the other one to show up. I hope you like that, and I hope you can use it if you're doing jewelry unboxing. It's been a great tool. This is a very beautiful bracelet. It's an excellent shape. Gold tone. It's got little indentations here with black enamel. And then look at all the rhinestones on that sort of leopardy design. Wow, I wonder who made this. It is... Is that a little mark or something, or signature? No, it might be, but looks like three dots. A lot of times something like that might be Avon. I know I'm fumbling here because this part is heavy and this part is not. So it has a lobster clasp. It's in beautiful condition. It just links right there with that chain. And if you love it, then I would say $4. And it measures 8 inches, and then you can go to 7. So 7 to 8 inches. $4. It's got beautiful rhinestones. So that's that. And I see a big brooch in here. Um, again, needs a little bit of cleaning. I see a, a mark on it. 
which is always nice. But how much of that cleaning is going to help? I'll have to see about that. All right, I can at least tell you the name, BSK. And I'll spend my own time cleaning that. Those other brass earrings with the sun on them, they're pretty cool. I can't wait to see what those look like when they're clean. Because they look pretty nice. I see some abalone in here. I see something else that I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. Oh, it's an earring. It's a vintage screwback earring. I'm going to try to get it undone because it's just going to tangle things up on us anyway. So bear with me a minute. If you don't like the time it takes to untangle, you're welcome to just fast forward on the video. And what I do when I want to do that is I just double tap the screen towards the right and it jumps ahead Oh, I don't know, 15 seconds at a time. And yeah, it helps me just jump ahead in little increments. I do want to remind you all that I don't do the fast forwarding video because when I have to proof watch the video, I can't watch fast forwarding. I have a personal reason why. It's... um. It's a very traumatic reason, but I can't watch fast-forward video. So I do apologize that I don't make fast-forward video, but I just can't. So please do feel free to fast-forward when I'm undoing the tangles. Another thing I do is if the tangle's too big, I'll make a separate video out of untangling because people love to see that too. Oh, I'm seeing a mark on there, so... That's great. That's going to be something precious metal. So let's just take a minute to relax and undo some of this and see what we got. By the way, if you would be so kind as to leave a comment, it does help the channel. I found out that commenting, we have our second fabric earring. Commenting lets YouTube know that you like the channel and it does boost it up a little. So I would love for you to make a comment and as your way of supporting the channel. We've got these fabric uh, metal earrings and we'll do those for $3. They're pretty. Those are very good shape. Okay, back to this. Oh my goodness. Look at that old roller skate. That's fantastic. That's beautiful. Wow. Okay. First, let's see if we can find a clasp and go there. It's got an older spring ring with a safety chain. So that's already telling me that maybe this is sterling or something of a better metal. Because something with a safety chain is either trying to look expensive or it is. So let me look at the spring ring and see if it's marked, because it doesn't always mean everything. Don't see anything on the spring. Or on that side either. Oh, here comes Bolty. He's going to try to jump up on the table again, my kitty cat. This is an airplane. So maybe this belonged to, like, a airline stewardess or someone who traveled. This is, I don't know. I'll have to look in my loop. It is, looks like a confirmation. So someone's Catholic confirmation charm. That's nice. And it says stir, so it's sterling and it's vintage because the older ones usually say stir for sterling rather than 925. This looks like it was put on with you know, maybe a gold tone link or maybe real gold. I don't know. I'll have to test it. But the roller skate is fabulous. It's just cool. Don't want to take a lot of time on this, but looks like we have a cheerleader charm. This is so sweet. You know, it's like and days gone by. And then let's see what this says on it. 
It says NT copyright and sterling silver. Oh, it's one of those zodiac sign things. Okay. Oh, and a nice cross. And I think that says sterling on it too. It does. It has a triangle and says stir. So this might be one of those cases where I sell the charms individually. I'll have to test the bracelet, see if it's sterling. Can't imagine all these sterling silver things on here would not be on a sterling bracelet. This says Wells Sterling and confirmation again. Okay, did we miss any? So we got the airplane that's either worn off or not marked. Roller skate, cheerleader. Okay, that was fun. It's really fun to see things like this. So the bracelet does magnet a little bit. So I might have to take all the ch charms off and resell those. Or I don't know if you want to offer something. If you like all those charms, let me know. Let's see if I can at least tell you if the cheerleader is sterling. I do see some marks on it. So I believe it is. But again, I would test it for sure. So this is going to go put aside unless someone wants to offer on that. And that was fun to see someone's memories. Now, let's see. I was going after this gorgeous earring and got so sidetracked because there's so much to be sidetracked about. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see. I have these little notes written on the side so that I can remember things that I think of talking about when I'm making a video. I always think about it later and I'm like, darn it, I forgot to say this or that. So while I'm untangling, I think I'm going to look at my notes a little bit. Okay, um, let's see, I already talked about not being a jewelry expert or a precious metal expert. And the different purchasing methods, I guess I yacked all my yakking. Okay, there's another note I can see. So I want to remind you guys that I do answer my emails in order. So if I'm busy for a day or so and I'm not getting to the emails, just have confidence that if you sent me a request before someone else, that you will be answered first. So just want you to know that if I'm not answering the emails, don't get nervous. I'm not you know, I haven't gone away. I just, sometimes I have to take a day where I just, you know, do something else all day. And I can't even look at, you know, YouTube or my emails. Not that I don't love it. I love it very, very much. But we all just need to take a little break sometimes. So, And for me, what I do when I take a break is I knit socks. <laughs> that sounds so funny. I knit socks. Like you think, oh, I go mountain climbing or I do <laughs> all this stuff, but I knit socks. I just, it's so relaxing to me. And that's why my thumb is in such a bump because I knit socks and it made it a bump. I see I got ink on me too. Okay, hopefully I can get that off because I don't want it to draw attention to my embarrassing bumpy thumb. Okay, we have this multi-charm, very beautiful necklace with these station beads on it. It is marked. Oh my goodness, this time of day. The lights go crazy. It is marked Monet. Wow. I don't think I've seen a Monet like that. It's very nice multi-charm. It's got rhinestones here. Let me make sure they're all there. Because that's important. They are there. And there's like a little star with a rhinestone in the middle. This sort of flat one with a couple in it. And isn't that cute? So let's say $10 on the Monet. Because any vintage pieces that are signed, I mean that's got some value resale value and value in general 
And if you guys don't like it or want it, I can always use it for my vintage stuff. Okay, let's see this guy I was going after. Isn't that cool? It's black enamel with these little dots of other colored enamel in the middle. Really super neat looking. Needs a little boss, as we say, in New England. Don't see any marks or any sterling silverness to it, but pretty cool nonetheless. By the way, I think I might have a... Um, oh, one of those bracelets with the real beads on it, but I'll have to check it out. This looks like um, abalone. It is abalone. I haven't seen abalone like this. Like with the natural side and with the polished side. That's gorgeous. Is that a wide drop or am I just not holding it right? I think it might be. Oh, and it's got a signature. Let's see who made this. It's so tiny. How do I get get you to see that? It's really teeny tiny. Okay, now it's my turn. Oh, my table. I don't like it dirty. It's by Avon. Wow, Avon with abalone. It's beautiful. I mean, look at it in its natural state. And then shiny. And they're not, um, they're not using it anymore for jewelry, so it's going to get harder to find. Sometimes Avon can be sterling. Don't know if this one is. I would say maybe not. Wait a minute, there's another. Yeah, that's just another signature for Avon. So, okay. The Avon necklace that appears to have a wide drop to it. Let me just make sure it's not tangled. It is not. This is how it goes. Such a cool, hippie sort of look to it. Love that. Looks a bit on the choker um, size, though. So it is like maybe it's 14 inches. Let's just be safe and say 14 inches. And then it has the Y drop. Pretty cool piece. I'm going to say $12 on that natural abalone and shined up abalone Avon piece. Nice. This is a sparkly baby. Really has like a romantic look to it. I'll have to take a look and see if all those ABs are there and get rid of that earring back for sure. So it's going to go wait for its mate. I'm having to reach way across. I hope I'm not being rude. Okay, we've got, I don't know, an earring with a glass ball. That's beautiful. Can you see the bubbles in the glass? guess I'm going to have to go to it rather than bring it closer. So that's it. It's so cool. Now, is that a mark on it? I have to take a peek. Um, it might be. I don't know. It might be like a little signature there. So it's going to go on the board. And what else do we have here? Lots of vintage pieces in here. Some pretty cool stuff. Um, hmm. But we seem to have hit a little bit of a tangle, haven't we? Yes, we did. Wow. That might not be too bad. And look at me trying to be all positive here. <laughs> With this big pile. It might not be too bad. Hmm. Guess I'll have to just start unclipping and make a decision of whether I'm just going to do this separately off camera. I don't want to take so long on this. I don't want to lose this little 
pendant here that's on this one either. Okay, what are you? It's a gold tone pendant with a like a chip on it and a silver tone chain that has seen better days. So I don't know, I guess I could go in the craft jar. I'll just put it in our Carol craft jar and not drag it over here for the moment. This is pretty incredible. This is pretty big. This is like some serious stuff here. Loads of really big rhinestones all over it. It's just serious. Wow. Look at that. That's incredible. That, they're not messing around. I wonder if it's, um, oh, I can't think of it, but it's got a little coloration there, so I'm going to have to put that aside, see if it'll clean up and clean my hands off, because I don't want to have anything like that. All right, let's look at this one, because it's been sitting over here. Sometimes I pull things out, and then I don't get to them, and they're sitting right there. That has a little knot in it. So quiet here. The clocks are just ticking. And Bolty, my cat, his name is Bolt because it looks like he has a lightning bolt on his face. He's a tuxedo cat. He came over a little while ago to tell me I want some food. Sometimes he jumps right up on the table and you guys get a kick out of it, but he didn't do it today. Thank goodness, right? And when I get to move around some more on my videos, I'll show you guys the cats. Because Bolt has a brother named Tom. This looks like a Lucky Brand uh, necklace. Oh my goodness, I gotta get these other things out of the picture. And zoom you in. Okay. It has that really cool clasp. And it says Lucky You, which is Lucky Brand. And it's really cute blue turquoise. And then a sand dollar with a little cute turquoise in it. That's a nice vintage Lucky Brand necklace. It, you know, it's not perfect. It's got some wear. But for those of you who collect Lucky Brand or you like that look, we'll say $5 on the Lucky Brand. Oh boy, looks like we have something quite different here. Cool pearls and an earring in there. All right, this looks like a double hang kind of necklace. Silver tone and then, I bet you it's New York and Company or something. Oh, that's cool. Oh boy, my camera's freaking out. Silver tone and then like a gunmetal. That's beautiful. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I like it very much. And it is on a double chain. Big lobster claw. It's a Chico's, of course. They're such well-made pieces. Let me show you this on the neck. And then if you love it, I would say $10 on the Chico's with the double chain. That's so pretty. Oops, I'm sorry, I need to zoom you back out very slowly. So I'm good to my peoples. So there you go. Two chains, big lobster claw on the clasp. She goes tag, and I will measure it for you. And I already said $10, right? Yep, yeah. okay. So the chain is 12 inches and then it's got this long extension so if you use the full extension it would be a 16 inch chain at this first point fully extended okay and that's that it's got nice weight to it a lot of nice metal and in very good condition so that's that one I've been telling you that I've been watching other YouTubers and it's funny because some of them, they just keep clunking that, putting it down in the box, clunk, clunk, 
whole lunk and it's like wow it's kind of funny okay this is a bracelet that says daughter on it that's cool i don't see any other marks um it probably says a lot of other things maybe oh it says strong love patient trusting everything you'd want to say to your daughter so we will do that for it's like self-adjustable for four dollars this is a very sweet earring oh my gosh glass with polka dots on it that's adorable wait for your mate i hear you bolty i know i gotta come give you your supper don't i and you're just doing everything to get my attention Okay, let's just do a few more, and we might have to call this video another day because we've got our craft jar almost done. A couple things to finish up. Yeah, this is a gold tone, um, whatever you call that, on silver tone chain, but it's just seen better days. Um, Someone can maybe use the pieces. All right, I'll put it in the craft jar, in our Carol craft jar. So that's that. Bolty, if you can hang on one minute, buddy, then Mommy doesn't have to make several videos and stick them together. He's looking out the window. He's so cute. Okay, this, I've been trying to get this out for a while. It's like brass. Just have to look for the clasps and undo them. I'm gonna have to put all this aside because it's gonna take me a little bit to untangle those. But at least you can get a peek at what's happening. And it looks like we've got a couple earrings. Oh, this is a pair of clip-ons. Oh, it broke off. That's not even the right one. All right, we'll figure that out. This looks like a scarf clip. Yep. And some kind of bangle. Probably better off if I just go feed him and then finish. So I won't feel rushed. This stretch bracelet is actually marked. Very rarely see a stretch bracelet marked. It almost looks like it has a premier design logo but it the stretch isn't good so I'll put that in our craft bag get that out of the way oh this is pretty this is very pretty let me look at the clasp I'm not seeing anything but the stones are gorgeous they are acrylic but they look just like um, amethyst so, should I just craft this or offer it? It's beautiful. I'm going to put it in a craft jar and you could wear it. How's that? Because it's beautiful. There's not a thing wrong with it. And I like to put wearable things in the craft jar. This is our Carol craft jar. You probably can't even see the name by now, but it's there. It is there. Ooh. This is a beautiful piece. It's got glass here, different rhinestones, amber color, and a teal turquoise color. The chain is not bad. A little bit of wear because it's an older piece, but the clasp looks great. Let's see if it says anything on the back. It does. Um, and D, which I think is an Avon piece, so that's a beautiful vintage Avon piece. Very nice. Um, is the chain worn too much? It might be. The stones are beautiful, so I'm going to put this in the craft jar because the chain just, just has a little too much wear for me to be happy about, and so many beautiful stones to use, so that's that.
Yeah, I hear him meowing. So instead of having that on the video, I will just have to go and come back. No big deal. Wow, got some pretty things to look at. Okay, I skipped out and fed the cats, and I thought this is a good time to maybe put together that the bag of craft pieces. So, got some gorgeous things in here. It's so hard to not look. Look at these purple clip-ons. Oh my gosh, those are beautiful. Wow, so I'll have to look at those. Move this stuff aside. And let's see what we can do. So that's my untangled pile. Here's what's going to go in our sort of craft bag. It's not, a lot of it's wearable, but we have these pieces. I've gone over them all in the video. Some of them I went over in the first video. So I'll just put them in the bag and offer it to you all. This one just needs to be clean. It's pretty. I love that one, actually. And some beautiful bangles. Gold tone piece. We have the torque necklace. Um, am I gonna, yeah, I'll put it in there. It might have a pendant. This is really nice. It has one stone missing. And this is cool, but I think the clasp is a little worn. And another bracelet. Some more that we went over before. Red bracelet, too. Um, I did find the other earring to this. Nothing wrong with them at all, but I'm just putting them in there. I have to lighten the load sometimes. This is really cute. Um, flip-flop necklace. Nothing wrong with that either. This I couldn't make out if it was supposed to be speckled like that. I think it is. Big Rolo chain. It's a really cool vintage piece, but I gotta lighten the load here, folks. Multi-tone. I think this is one of the first pieces we looked at. Just needs to have the chain glued and you got yourself a clamper. And we got this bracelet. Looks to be brass with yeah, something missing there. So nothing wrong with this. So a lot of pieces are wearable and some of them are just need uh, a little thinning. So I'm going to do this whole bag here. Let's see. I'll weigh it for you. Some crafters like the bigger pieces, some like the little pieces. So this helps us both. Let's zippy bag it. It weighs 23, almost 24 ounces. So let's see. I need to mark this because when I walk away from here, it'll be a lot of work, so I don't want to forget it. Um, what I say? 24 ounces. And why don't we call this craft bag? We'll just call it 37 pound episode 4 craft bag. Okay? 37 pound episode 4, which is this video craft bag at 24 ounces. Now I'm going to make a little noise with my tape because I'm going to just tape this on here. I have to be very systematic and thorough because I don't want to mess anything up for anyone. Oh, and how much am I going to charge for this? Why don't we just do, we'll just do $12 on this, okay? 12 for that bag. It's almost, almost two pounds, not quite. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. Probably finish up our Carol craft jar while I take a second and remind you that this is how you would order. You can take a screenshot of this if you'd like. 
email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and please give me the video name and episode number, time stamps of the pieces you want, brief description of each piece, and the prices. And I thank you very much. Also want to remind you that when you comment, it supports the channel. So I would love your support by having you send a nice comment. I do answer every comment. I really enjoy that. And also, giving a like is very nice. Very nice. It really does tell YouTube that you're enjoying the videos. And I would thank you so much for clicking that thumbs up right now. And just, yeah, click on it. Appreciate it. This is a little um, tiny pearl bracelet I'm going to put in the craft jar. I feel like I don't want to distract you because I want you to go click the like button, honestly. Because that would distract me. I'd be like, I want to see her fill the craft jar. I don't want to go click the like button. So, um, let's see. La-di-da. I'm going to la-di-da while you go <laughs> click the like button. It's just nice when there's support like that. Okay, that's too big to put in there. Oh, I think this is that other clip-on. So you do have the pair. So if you want to glue stuff to it and make a pair of clip-ons, you've got it. I think that's about all we're going to fit in there because I have to put bubble wrap on the top and finish it off. So this is the Carol Craft Jar $20. I'll go wrap this up. And I'll wrap up the video, too. So I thank you very much. I'm so glad you are here. I've got a lot of cleaning to do and a lot of sorting to do. And I even have a lot of um, cleaning up and bagging to do. So I'll do that, and I'll go make my thumbnail. And we'll see you around. And thank you. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles.